false barcode that would give our products at a discounted rate. I can't even lie, this shit illegal as hell, bro. Hey, I can't knock the hustle, bro. Stealing your products, getting them for free, or getting them discounted just to make a TikTok and get bread from the TikTok? That's insane strategy. <laughs> huh? All right, so apparently this TikToker by the name of Marlena Velez, who currently has she got over a mugshot 400, back there. followers, was recently arrested for being caught and stealing all the products she would use to make these shopping haul videos she would upload to her TikTok page. And basically what nah. that is, is you go to a store, you buy stuff, you record it, you take people along for the ride, or you record everything you bought, unpack and unbox for people to see. And apparently that's kind of therapeutic to a lot of people out there. Shopping. You're telling me she would record her picking up something and then just steal it and then put it on TikTok? That's fucking nuts. I mean, yo, get that bag, bro. What videos shit? And I don't know. The main people who watch this seem to be women. Seems to be on par with kind of makeup tutorial videos and Love Island, The Bachelor, and Baddies East, and all these other. And if she's in the creator fund and these videos are longer than a minute, oh, she's getting bread from stealing. She's she's literally turning a profit by stealing shit. She's not paying a dime, and she's getting mad money from the views. Type of reality TV show based content, like the ladies love that shit. But in this instance, this TikToker Marlena was a fraud. She was doing this reality shopping haul type stuff, showing her audience what she would be buying on a weekly or daily basis. But turns out, all this stuff was stolen goods. This TikToker Duh. thought it would be a good idea to post herself doing a haul of all the items that she allegedly stole from Target. Her name is Marlena, and even though she has over 300,000 followers, and gets millions of views posting lifestyle content in hauls. She has been scamming Target in order to get free stuff so she can make her TikToks. Apparently, she was hacking the self-checkout by scanning a false barcode that would give her products at a discounted rate. Oh! Oh, yo, I can't even lie, bro. I can't even lie. This shit illegal as hell, bro. Hey, I can't knock the hustle, bro. I can't knock the hustle. This is actually some dope shit. Again, I'm not advocating for crime or anything like that, but like, bro, stealing your products, getting them for free or getting them discounted just to make a TikTok and get bread from the TikTok. That's insane strategy. <laughs> <laughs> resulting in Marlena stealing over $500 worth of merchandise. And when they saw Marlena was wearing the same exact outfit that she did a Get Ready With Me in, it was very easy to track her down and you report her to the stupid. police. The problem is people started attacking the wrong influencer before finding the actual Marlena, who has since turned off all of her comments. So that is uh, pussy. <laughs> quite a lot to unpack right there. But just of the story is this chick Marlena Turn was off out your here comments. stealing stuff by using a shopping huh. self-checkout finesse method. Like, I guess she was using the bar codes of cheaper items to act as if she was scamming the items that she had in her cart when in reality it was the barcode for something completely different so say she would have a shopping cart full of 500 dollars items she would pretend to scan all that stuff and do her finesse and fraudulent scamming type activities the total instead of being 500 dollars would end up probably being 50 or 100 dollars at most which for my crazy. mathematically astute people out there is a heavy ass discount that like, is a heavy if discount I wasn't such a good guy i'd be out here going wild with that method like hold <laughs> I can't knock it. I can't knock it. I would never personally do it, but I can't knock it, bro. That shit is crazy. Shit. A TikTok creator with 300,000 followers is arrested for shoplifting at a Target store, according to police. Damn. Cape Coral, Florida investigators say the suspect... Mar Yo, she really did have her mugshot sitting in the background. Lana Vela... No way you frame your mugshot! ...scanned false barcodes <laughs> with cheaper prices at the self-checkout line allegedly stealing about $500 worth of merchandise. Now that's funny, filming yourself back in the back of your car with stolen items that you didn't even pay for, like actually filming the crime scene, caught in 4K. You yeah. couldn't have made the cops' jobs any easier. When police Kinda shared nuts. the photo online, one anonymous caller possibly recognized the woman in the photo as Velez, a vlogger who posts videos of her day-to-day, -day, just like this one. That's actually embarrassing and just downright retarded. Like, how are you as such a wide TikTok creator out here? Stealing in broad daylight, getting caught on camera and Okay, not here's what I'll say, right? Stay with me now. I think in the beginning stages, she has like over 300,000 followers, right? I think in the beginning stages of her TikTok and shit, where, you know, she's first starting to get the views and stuff like that. I don't hate her for it. You know what I'm saying? I don't hate her. But at some point with 300,000 uh, followers and millions of views across all your videos, especially if they're a minute long or longer, you definitely have to be getting paid. 
So after you're starting to get the bag, I think this is crazy. I think this is crazy stupid. I think if you haven't gotten caught and you're starting to make a bag from it, I think continuing to do it is dumb. Because you got away with it. You're starting to make your bag. So actually spend the money now. It's a, it's a little crazy, bro. Because like, okay. That's like, for example. Hmm. Damn, I low-key lost my train of thought. Fuck, bruh. Thinking that eventually you would be caught. Like, it's not like you're just a random ass nobody that nobody knows about. You've had hundreds of thousands to potentially millions of eyeballs who've at least seen your face. Just having your mugshot in the background is still so crazy to me, bro. Once. And you really thought this eventually wouldn't catch back up with you? Like, bro, if you have a platform that big and your job is to show people the products you buy in these shopping haul videos, why would you then risk getting caught stealing said items in those shopping haul exactly. videos? Exactly. Right? Okay, so let's say this, right? Right? I, I I got it back, bro. Imagine, let's just say for easy math's sake, right? When she first started off, these products were like five hundred dollars each time she checked out. But um, she was making only you know ten twenty dollars per video she did, right? So then she started saying, you know what? Let me start stealing and start posting them, and then. She starts turning a crazy profit. Let's say all of her videos get her like at least a thousand dollars each. Okay, now that you're making over a thousand dollars every time you post one of these videos, it's you're making a profit. So still stealing money or still stealing products is crazy. I found what I was actually gonna say. That's like okay, you pirated. Uh, uh, let's say you, you pirated Adobe software, right? Which a lot of people do. You pirated Adobe software, right? Because you were a kid. You were like in the, the ranges of like 14 to 16. You ain't had no money, nothing like that, right? But after you, after you get a good job and you realize you can afford the monthly subscription to Adobe, you start paying for it and you delete your, your pirated Adobe, uh, um, products, that's what I mean. It's like, okay, now you got the bag. There's no reason for you to keep pirating the software. I know that one's not a great one because I know a lot of people hate Adobe. And so I can't really just be a like, mask, a hoodie, a wig. Some just people are like, yeah, yeah pirate casual, Adobe. They're stealing from us. Without a care in the world. Really like the much. audacity. Investigators say Velez even posted about her Target haul from that day wearing the same outfit in store surveillance cameras. Now, oh my crazy, God, bro. she like, posted on the... She gave them the... the she gave them... <laughs> She gave them the fucking evidence. This has got to be a different level of stupidity. But the video has since been deleted. She was arrested Comment and charged turned off with petty crazy. theft. This is Inside Edition Digital. And of course, as previously stated, all the comments on all her video uploads and photo uploads have been turned off. She doesn't want the criticism. She doesn't want to be roasted. That's pussy she doesn't shit, bro. Let them niggas see all the hate, bro. Let them niggas see all the hate, bro. Turning off your comments is so pussy to me, bro. Because, like, come on, bruh. You did something crazy. You deserve the hate, bruh. You deserve the hate, bruh. You did something crazy, bro. You even have your mugshot in the background. So you want people to... You want to bait people into saying this shit anyway. I want to be clowned in her comment section. Like, now this shit has me questioning everything, bro. Like, the shopping haul video she has out here. She has food. You know, the things she buys for her family. Like, did she steal these yogurts? Did she steal this water? Did she steal these plastic trays? Like, now I'm thinking she just... I'm not gonna lie. Stealing food? No, for real, for real. Listen to this. I'm not gonna lie. Stealing food when you have money to afford food is another level of crazy disrespect because there's people out here who steal food because they can't afford food and the fact that you're stealing food when you can buy it that's that's fucking nuts just stole everything even the chips like, did nuts. she steal this ipad the plants where did she get the shower head from what is ooh -wee? what is this did she steal the, the <laughs> amazon the body wash the loofah i see she has tats on her back like did she get those tats and just walk out the tattoo shop and something All tells right, me her husband knows about these antics these activities bro like let's be honest bro if the wife is stealing odds are the husband is a thief too and they're probably setting a bad example for their two kids right there the daughter and the son like come on bro birds of a feather flock together and hector over here looks like he's about that scam in life too just saying wait what what you oh my god he got the video oh, for getting don't fight it. Don't fight it. Have you, have you, <laughs> you have to put shoes on. You have to put shoes on, bitch. Give us a sec. No, this is why I told you. Pause. Pause. 
This is what I told you? Girl, what the fuck are you doing? Just because you're getting arrested don't mean you have to throw me under the bus too. The fuck is wrong with you? Oh, Sydney. Bro, I made this a fucking 10 minute reaction. Wait a minute, you can afford a lawyer? And you're stealing from Target. See? She got fake titties. You pay for that? Priorities, y'all. Priorities, bro. I looked at their car. Now, don't get me wrong. I, I, I can stand on the side of, like, having money and not needing the best looking car. Some people look at it as it's just a car. It gets me from point A to point B. I don't need a BMW. I don't need a Mercedes. I just need a car. That's fine. But like, I was looking at the tires, to be honest with you. I wasn't looking at the car. I was looking at the tires and they look kind of bald a little bit, bro. She got fake titties. I don't know what else to say.